And before you came in, I filled this balloon here uh, with some hydrogen and some oxygen. And uh, very roughly, I made sure that for every particle, which is a molecule of oxygen, O2, there were two molecules of hydrogen. And these little models here, of course, nothing like the real thing. The real thing cannot be seen, not only because it's too small, because it's part wave, it's not all particle. So these represent hydrogen molecules, H2, and this one represents an oxygen molecule, O2. And I know that they should have reacted together. I know if I've got oxygen and hydrogen in that proportion, I should just end up with water, nothing else. And here is a water molecule. In fact, from that, I'd end up, from those molecules there, end up with two water molecules. Now, look at the shape of the water molecule. If I gave you the bits, most people would put it together like that. If the water molecule put the oxygen in the middle, hydrogen, hydrogen, H2O, if it was that shape, water would boil at minus 70. And we know that water boils at plus 100. So because it's that shape, it boils 170 degrees hotter. Is that incredible? Water's the most incredible liquid on Earth. It's a fascinating thing. And when water gets to 4 degrees, or 3.98 to be correct, it starts expanding again. So if you have a thermometer, which is filled with water, it would go down and down and down and down. When it got to 3.98 degrees, it would start going up again, even when the temperature was going down. So water in a thermometer isn't much good. The balloon hasn't reacted. There's still a gas in there. And one of the reasons it hasn't reacted is because the molecules are not crashing together hard enough. These molecules are made like this, and they've got to become like this. And the only way they can do that is to break apart. It's like having some Lego, and if you use all your Lego, what do you have to do? Do you make something else? You have to take the old stuff apart, and that takes energy. Of course, pulling those bricks apart. But this is like smashing the leg on the floor until it breaks apart. And we've got to increase the speed at which the molecules in there are flying around and hitting each other, and of course, hitting the walls of the balloon. There are so many, absolute countless number, billions and billions and billions of them, at any point, at any second, at any millisecond, actually striking any point on that balloon. And that's why the balloon's got the shape. It's been hit continually by billions and billions and billions of gas molecules. Now, if we, if we heat them up, the higher the temperature, they will go faster, and they will collide harder. And when they collide hard enough for these molecules to break, have energy left over. And that will make a big bang. So this is a runaway explosive reaction. Okay, we're going to set it off now. I'm going to give it some more energy. I'm going to speed those molecules up until they crash. Can I have the lights out, please? Uh, and we'll see, if, we'll see what we can get. We've been blown about a little bit by this fan, so I'm going to have a little, uh, a little chase. Are you ready for this? This is the way to make some new water from hydrogen and oxygen. Here we go. Ah. I think that was very good. Actually. I think that was, I think that was good. Right, thank you. Lights up, please.